Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, today we are going to be jumping into a little bit of a raft and I will be going over four items that I think are highly underrated. Um, so let's load up our world. Here we are. Okay, so the first underrated item that I think is highly underrated is watermelons. They are awesome. Um, you eat one and you get food and uh, thirst replenished from it. Um, it is way better, in my opinion, than carrying around, where are they, one of these guys, the water bottle. Um, I mean, you, you can hold so many more watermelons, and they, they can save you on an island when you're in a pinch, if you end up getting stuck doing something and you don't realize how low your food and hunger are. Eat a couple watermelons, and it'll buy you the needed time in order to get back to your boat or your raft. Um, so that is the watermelons. And the other thing is, they're so easy to grow. Like, put them on automatic timers and whatnot, and then just have a few set up. Harvest them, replant them. Go on your little adventure, harvest, and replant yet again. Um, so that's the first one of the first items is watermelons. Um, the second item that I think is highly underrated are soups. Um, this is the soup station, or the what do they call it? Cooking station? I don't know. Um, The cooking pot, I guess is what they call it. Um, but you collect different recipes throughout the game. And then you uh, cook them. You lay them out according to the quantities. And they eat, will each give you different amounts of hunger or thirst. Um, on, on both of these, as you can see, I have laid out two drumsticks a uh, coconut and a cave mushroom and that is the recipe for this coconut chicken right here so let's get those guys brewing the nice wonderful thing that I love about soups are they allow you to go on adventures for much longer without food than normal um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's just get our regular hunger bar full. Get rid of this egg. And let's just pop them over here. As you can see, I, I have one that I, from earlier, that I still haven't eaten. Um, but these should be getting close to being finished. I'm stuck on this freaking island. Yeah. And you'll know when they're done, because they'll make a clinking noise. Um, the only downside is you need clay bowls to collect your soup so just be aware of that pot and honestly that's that's one of the main things that i use clay for is 
to make balls for the soups. Because they're just... They're OP, man. Holy crap, these are taking forever. I don't remember them ever taking this long. Hello, I need my soup. Goes back to the the watch pot never boils. Hey, shark, shark boy. Oh, and did you hear that? Let's pick them up. And cooking different ones will give you different quantities uh, or bowls of soup. So the coconut chicken, each batch gives you two bowls, uh, versus like vegetable soup, which only gives you one. But that's a very simple soup. And then, what is it? I think it's the shark dinner. Gives you three, I believe. So there we got our five coconut chickens. Uh, I'm going to quickly boost back up to full hunger to show you guys something real quick. Okay, our hunger bowl, our hunger bar is pretty much full. Um, and you then, when you eat these soups, you get an added bonus. And now I can go and explore the island to my heart's content without having to worry about replenishing my hunger. Um, and if you are going on like a longer trek or adventure, maybe you're scoping out that yacht, um... Sometimes I'll just cook, have a couple extra soups and just keep them back in my inventory. Um, so soups, that's number two. Number three are these little guys right here. I love these little fellas. The nests. Um, I put them all over the place. I got some here. Ooh, an egg. Um, but what they allow you to do is seagulls will rest in them and then you can go along and pick up their feathers, which you use to obviously make arrows, but you also can just massacre them. get more feathers and some chicken nuggets oh yeah who doesn't like them some tasty delectable chicken nuggets mmm put those suckers right on there cook that beasties up yes and it's so easy uh, if you're just going around checking on stuff you can literally just take a quick glance over check your nests be like ooh feather or if one of them, if one of the seagulls is there, just shoot him with the bow. Um, the bow, I find, is the easiest and the quickest um, to kill them. Uh, you can use a spear, um, but many times, unless it's like this, uh, the metal one, I think it takes two hits. And so that's, that's kind of annoying. So just save yourself the heartache and the trouble. And use a bone arrow. Ooh, chicken nuggets are done. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Um, that was number three. Number four. Nets. These things are awesome. Um, I like to put them around the perimeter for the most part of almost my entire raft. And then I protect them with these reinforced platforms. Um, and that protects the nets from being destroyed, obviously, by our deep sea fishy friend, the Mr. Shark. Um, but you can literally just sail in a direction and collect stuff. And then you just run along and pick everything up out of the nets. 
Um, it is so con convenient and, and useful. Um, nets. Each net can hold up to 10 items. Um, so, for example, like this net right here. 10 items. 10 items. 10 items. Um, and when um, they get full, they quit collecting items until you uh, pick out what's in them. Um, that's why I advocate, like I said earlier, putting them around your perimeter of almost your entire raft. Because once this one's full of 10 items, the items just continue to go across and then boom, they hit these nets over here and get caught in these. So it's very nice and convenient um, for that. So that I, if I don't feel like clearing out all my nets, I don't have to do it because I got backup nets. Um, but yeah, those are four things that I believe are highly underrated in this game. Ooh, watermelon. Um, again, those are the nets, the nests, the soup, and of course, this wonderful fruit we call watermelon. Um, if you guys have yet to play this game, go check it out. Um, you can get it on Steam. Um, I enjoy it. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of things. You can have gardens. You can have catch animals, uh, llamas. We have some chickens and Mr. Goat over there. Um, well, that's it for today, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.